man, this comic book sucks. And the reviews online said it was good. I wasted my money. Why didn't somebody tell me? Hey everybody, we're back with our comic reviews. We finally, Happy New Year everyone. We, you know, we've done our, our regular segments and now we're back to our comic reviews and we've got three for you. The Wasp is back. She has her own title, I don't think, I'm not sure, no, they had the Ant-Man and Wasp, but now the Ant Wasp actually has her own title, and this is a whole entirely new Wasp in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, yet another unrecognizable character <laughs> brought into the Marvel Universe. <laughs> this is a different sort of comic book. I'm trying to bring new energy to this thing. If you look at this comic book, this Wasp starts off, and Marvel's trying to hit a, a new niche, or, uh, you know, niche audience where it's like the girl audience, right? Because we read um, Patsy Walker. Right, this right, This is right. sort of similar to that. So there's a lot of talking. It's like walking the street. She almost, you know, she doesn't Yeah, it's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of talking and it's stuff. It's a lot of like sex in the city stuff without the, you know. <laughs> she you goes know, to the immigration. Scene here, then scene, <laughs> and then scene. Nothing's really going on to, nothing's really, go, I, look, you know, as much as I, as much as I really want to take uh, some shots at this thing, I actually like the issue, so. It's an okay issue. Well, I, I, I think it was a little, you know, like it was a talkie. It was very, it was a lot, it was a lot of talking. It, but that's what they're going for. <laughs> you know, that's what they're going for, <laughs> so it works. I'm not, you know, look, I, I uh, w without uh, giving away some of the stuff that I like that might be guilty pleasures or, or not very manly and masculine, this is not something that would be too, this would not be something too hard for me to actually get into. Mm -hmm. It's a new character as well. If it was Janet Van Dunn, then I might have more of an issue with it. But it seems very, it seems very light. Very playful. I always ask, where does it go from here, though? Because it, mm -hmm. one of the things, and this is something uh, we didn't get to touch on this in the other thing, in the other uh, segment that we did, but are these superhero comics, okay? Yes. Marvel seems to be regressing back to their soap opera no, comics. This is, like Ar this is like, like Archie. Archie. <laughs> this is Marvel Archie, because this and the Patsy Walker, and I'm like saying, we didn't we didn't slam that one too bad either. So I mean, it's okay. Like, it's is still it readable, but it, is it doing numbers for them? But it's a fun comic. I don't know what to say. I mean, it it's still readable, <laughs> and you know, of course, it, after a while, it becomes like you know this elusive white whale. It's like the female market. We're going to get them mm -hmm. in here. I don't know if this is the book that they're actually doing with. I mean, I could be totally wrong too, because for all I know, the female market wants to read stuff like I do. They just want to read pulse pounding, you know, yeah. adventure and action, and this is something for a totally, you know, mixed audience. But these are still types of stories that I don't have any. It, the first issue, I don't have any particular issue with them, and this is a whole bunch of setup. I think we saw some of this in, when we did Blue Beetle. Mm -hmm. It was sort of thing like a lot of okay, the interplay, and, you yeah. know, and the friends, and yeah. you know, we're gonna do, have a little drink of this here, and then we're mm -hmm. gonna go to the next scene. We're gonna drink a little bit more of this here, <laughs> but. You know, it's like, okay, then you're not telling the superhero story. And a superhero story needs to have a hero, needs to have a villain, needs to have some sort of conflict that these guys are trying to resolve. It's really, really heavy, really heavy on character. If you like that type of stuff, yeah. then you're going to get a lot of character moments. You get a lot of dialogue. But it's not a lot. A lot uh, put it like this. Don't expect to see her in the, in, in the suit too often, okay? Because there's really nothing that she mm -hmm. needs to be in the suit for. I don't know how long you keep your audience with that, especially if you're trying to sell a superhero. I don't know. Well, I mean, if I mean, I don't know if there's an audience for it. It was, but it was like it's also hard when the moments are something that could be visual. Her not concentrating while she's walking down the street, but it's hard to present it visually. That makes it interesting. And then it's like having another segment when you go to the immigration office. It's really hard. I mean, they had a segment where they go through the history and they do sort of a panel like Ant Man's head which is sort of interesting and it gives me the history, some of which I knew, but I'm just like, it, how is this character? But then the other thing that it did it was, it also said Hank Pym's a genius again. again? It's not, the, now he, but before he was a guy who failed, everyone believes in that everything he did failed and you know, everyone forgot the pin particles. Yeah, except the pin particles, which yeah. didn't fail. <laughs> but they're like, hey, that's, yeah, that's, come on, we got to go to the, the Jim Shooter blog. We got to <laughs> stop it. Because all the stuff that he did, say, he failed on everything, but the pin particles they went away from and said, why can't this guy get big and small? Why can't it, he stay, you know, why did he have to be lame? I'm going, I'm, I digress, forget it. Forget all that stuff. But then the other part of it is, it is sort of a fun action story. Then it got to, after the action happens, there's a lot of talking. Yeah. And then there's one thing which isn't giving too much of the plot, but she, you know, like a SHIELD acronym, they have, it's a good girl, and this is a new group, but it's, 
they have an A in the middle. That's a word. It's like it's, it's like action in the middle, so it's actually like G I A R L. And it's like, why didn't they get that right? Why didn't they come up with a better acronym and get rid of the action? The, the <laughs> it's like it's like it, it, she's supposed to be smart. Why she has an acronym that has an A in the middle, but it's not like of. Yeah, I, it's when, like when you, say, when you say that again, <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm thinking again. Who is this being geared towards? Yeah. Because. And I've seen this type of thing before, where you, literally the action can be wrapped up in three pages. Yes. And then the rest of it is a yeah. lot of talking, a, the, a lot of soul searching, a lot of introspection. The panel on the joints on the robot. Yeah. It's like, this robot's just going to get beaten. Like, what are we wasting time? But it's still a fun yeah. thing. Just do some more. First big issue. Little. First issue. I don't know if I would still stay yeah. around past issue five or six, but first issue, yeah, no problem. So what are we saying? Are we going? I, I'm going to give the first issue a four. Oh, wow. I'm going to give the first issue a four. I'm going to be very kind and give the first issue a four. I, hey, I, I like this type of stuff, at least the first issue. We're <laughs> it's just, we're going to be reading all of the girl Marvel books now. I'm giving it a three. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed her character. They made her a likable character. But mm -hmm. it's almost something about Mary, Mary too unbelievable to be that likable. But let's see where it goes. And I guess that's it for this one. Yep. Check it out, you guys. We're, we, we recommended something for the new year. Yeah, short and sweet, <laughs> just like the Wasp. We'll see you next time. All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Benarag. You saved me money.